Until recently, microscopes were the best tool biologists had for viewing proteins, but that has changed. With DNA, X-ray crystallography, and 3D computer graphics, biologists for the first time can see proteins in detail and in action. This is revolutionizing the way biology is being taught. Compare this microscope shot of a cell's transporter to what is now available. This is a microscopic shot of a group of the cell's factories reading the RNA instructions for making a part. This is what is now available. In this movie, I will be your tour guide. We will ask the various proteins, such as this virus, to do their thing while we watch. But first, some background on this incredible, lightly explored nano world. Nano means the billionth of a meter. We are composed of trillions of hundreds of different types of cells. Some 250 typical cells will fit on the period at the end of a sentence. It is easy to lose sight of this during the presentation. With the magic of the computer, I will reduce my size to 10 billionth of a meter to enter the cell. To put this into proper perspective, here I am next to a human hair. In the nano world, there is no light and everything is colorless. In this presentation, we'll add lights and colors for clarification. The laws of physics as we know them do not apply in the nano world. For example, the gravity in our world has little effect in the nano world. We have no trouble walking in water, but in the nano world, the water viscosity is a million times greater and there is no gravity for footing. In the nano world, gravity has little effect. Molecular force is the big player. For example, water molecules will stick to my arm. When I drop my arm, my body moves as the water molecular force is greater than gravity. Let's try that once more. We can't compare the quickness of a squirrel to an elephant. The difference is much greater in the nano world. The proteins travel at speeds of over 650 miles an hour with no means of avoiding collisions. This is known as the Browning effect. The cargo is usually placed in vesicles for protection. Look out, here comes the factory. With no gravity, there is no up or down. They have a different language in the nano world, but more of that later. Now let's visit some of the cell's machines that keep us running. This is the first example of a machine that keeps us running. The cell has a system of thousands of tubular highways to deliver material to specific locations. This shows a typical maze of highways in a cell. At any time, there are thousands of chemical-laden vesicles being transported by some of the 100,000 motorized vehicles. The cargo is kept in vesicles to prevent damage from all the flying objects. This is an actual photograph of a transporter. To put this in perspective, the transporter can take about 10 steps to go the width of a human hair. The transporter can take about 100 steps per second. The transporter can travel about 15 inches per day. It takes three to four days to make the trip of the longest cell that extends from the spine to the foot. A fresh battery is attached to the rear foot after each step. That means it requires about 100 fresh batteries per second. The batteries will be discussed in more detail later. Let's have the transporter show us how it gets the fresh battery for each step. Mr. Transporter, will you raise your foot? Thank you. We will use the transporters as our tour buses in the cell.
The nano world has its own language called DNA. Most of the cells have a six foot long DNA manual. It has the instructions used by the factories to originally make the cell. It has the instructions for making replacement parts. The cells in the lining of the stomach have to be replaced about every day. A hundred billion red blood cells have to be replaced every day. The DNA also contains the operating instructions for each protein. There is no one in charge. Each protein knows what to do. While our alphabet has 26 letters, the DNA has only four. The words are only three letters long. This is the name of one of the cell's building blocks. When the cell needs a replacement part, the messenger RNA goes to the specific location on the DNA that has the instructions for making the needed part, opens up the DNA, and makes a copy of the instructions at 30 words per second to be sent to the factory. The factory is a very important machine that keeps us running. It makes spare parts that we need. About 7% of our cells are replaced each day. The RNA instructions for making a replacement part is delivered to the factories. The factory grabs the instructions and reads the first three letters that describe the first amino acid building block to be used. Floating around the factory are the transfer RNA molecules that contain the amino acid building blocks. The factory grabs the transfer RNA that has the complementary three letters and attaches it to the instructions. The amino acid building block is dropped off. The process is repeated to complete the part. Mr. Factory, will you show us how you make a part from the instructions? Thank you. A single factory can make 2,000 parts a second. Many factories can work side by side as shown to assemble a million components per second.